എല്ലാവരെയും ഓൺലൈൻ ബോട്ടണി എന്ന ഈ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനലിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ചെയ്യുന്നു നമ്മളിന്ന് ഫൈക്കോളജി എന്ന വിഷയത്തെക്കുറിച്ചാണ് സംസാരിക്കുന്നത് ഫൈക്കോളജി എന്ന വിഷയത്തിലേക്ക് കടക്കുന്നതിന് മുമ്പ് എല്ലാവരും ഈ ചാനൽ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യണം എന്ന് അഭ്യർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു താഴെയുള്ള സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ബട്ടൺ ഞെക്കി എല്ലാവരും സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യുക നമുക്ക് നമ്മുടെ ഇന്നത്തെ നമ്മുടെ വിഷയത്തിലേക്ക് കടക്കാം ഫൈക്കോളജി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ആൽഗെ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു സസ്യവിഭാഗത്തെക്കുറിച്ചുള്ള പഠനമാണ് യഥാർത്ഥത്തിൽ ഈ ഫൈക്കോളജി എന്ന് ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നു പലതരം സസ്യവിഭാഗങ്ങളിൽ ആൽഗെ എന്ന് പറയുന്നതാണ് ആദ്യമുണ്ടായ സസ്യവിഭാഗം എന്നതാണ് നമ്മൾ കണ്ടുപിടിച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ഒരു വസ്തുത നമുക്ക് ഫൈക്കോളജിയിലേക്ക് കിടക്കാം സോ ഫൈക്കോളജി ഇസ് ദ ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് ബോട്ടണി ഓർ ഫൈറ്റോളജി ബോട്ടണിക്ക് മറ്റൊരു പേരാണ് ഫൈറ്റോളജി സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് ബോട്ടണി വിച്ച് സ്റ്റഡീസ് അബൌട്ട് ആൽഗെ സോ ദ ടേം ഫൈക്കോളജി comes from Greek. Greek ഭാഷയിൽ നിന്നാണ് നമുക്ക് ഈ വാക്ക് ലഭിച്ചിട്ടുള്ളത് ഫൈക്കോസ് ഇൻ ഗ്രീക്ക് ഫൈക്കോസ് മീൻസ് ആൽഗെ ദർ ആർ എ ലാർജ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ആൽഗെ ഫൗണ്ട് ഇൻ ഓഷ്യൻസ് ഓർ സീസ് ആൻഡ് ദേ ആർ കൺസിഡേർഡ് വീഡ്സ് സിൻസ് ടൈം ഇ മെമ്മോറിയൽ സോ ദ ആർ കോൾഡ് സീ വീഡ്സ് and uh, algae uh, were synonymous with sea weeds in olden times because uh, uh, those were the visible very visible forms of algae and uh, they are uh, most of the sea weeds are there are large uh, sized sea weeds uh, some even uh, appearing to form jungles under the ocean or in on the uh, base or bottom of the ocean and so uh, phycos which means algae or seaweed combines with logos which in greek means to study and together they form uh, phycology so that is how the term phycology has been developed it is also commonly called algology so uh, algology is the same as phycology and this is the study of algae when we come to algae they are believed to be the uh, plants that were first formed on earth and uh, they are believed to have originated in the oceans of the primitive times during uh, these periods blue green algae unicellular blue green algae Uh, were thought to have evolved and these algae were the first uh, photosynthetic organisms preparing their own food synthesizing their own food releasing oxygen into the atmosphere uh, and it is thought that this process continued for uh, millions of years changing the atmosphere itself Uh, so algae are very significant in uh, the development of uh, global climate uh, the formation of the first photosynthetic organisms which then later developed to the uh, heterotrophic organisms and these algae are symbol uh, the plant body is called a thallus Uh, it is not differentiated into any specialized organs like the uh, root stem or leaf that we find in other plants so the body is very simple uh, and this is called a thallus thallus is an undifferentiated plant body which we find in other plant uh, or organisms like fungi uh, or bryophytes uh, all these organisms have a uh, thallus so they are chlorophyll bearing uh, with the ability for photosynthesis and uh, just now as we have seen since the plant body is a thallus they lack vascular tissue xylem and phloem 
and so they are non vascular plants and algae are mostly found in water they are aquatic mostly they are marine found in oceans and there are some uh, freshwater forms also uh, mostly green algae which are found in freshwater bodies now let us look at some general characteristics of algae when we come to algae we see that they are they have certain common characteristics like the presence of a simple uh, plant body which we call the thallus uh, the absence of vascular tissues uh, the presence of chlorophyll uh, and uh, the ability to conduct photosynthesis producing food but uh, structure wise even though the plant body is a thallus the structure of the thallus shows a wide range of diversity from unicellular to multicellular forms and within the unicellular and multicellular forms again there are a lot of diversities and in algae we find different mechanisms of reproduction uh, not only asexual or sexual within uh, asexual sexual or vegetative propagation there are again different uh, methods or modes of uh, reproduction and uh, the life cycles even we find that there are uh, different types of life cycles uh, around five types of life cycles are found in uh, the algae and even in individual algae we find different modes of reproduction various structures so they are a highly heterogeneous group showing wide diversity uh, showing a lot of uh, variations in the uh, uh, commonality of the uh, symbol body or thallus uh, when we come to the thallus uh, there are I, as earlier i said there are unicellular and uh, multicellular thallus the unicellular thallus again shows uh, variations uh, some are non motile they do not have any uh, structures for motility like the flagella or the cilia uh, they are non motile uh, structures the, some of them are rhizopodial uh, rhizopodial uh, are those cells which develop a large number of pseudopodia branch like pseudopodia so they appear uh, uh, as if uh, they are formed of a network of extensions and there are coccoid forms uh, which are spherical resembling the coccus bacteria then multicellular thallus again shows a wide range of uh, variations with colonial palmaloid uh, in palmaloid forms we find a large number of uh, cells coming together in colonies and uh, they are arranged within a common uh, mucilage then there are dendroid or tree like forms they are, appear like uh, small trees then filamentous long narrow elongated forms and uh, uh, there are siphonous structures which are uh, multinuclear, xenocytic we say, large number of nuclei uh, within a common uh, growth or a common structure. The, so, uh, as we have mentioned earlier, we can see this heterogeneous nature uh, from the beginning itself in this unicellular and multicellular arrangement of the thallus. When we come to organization, we see that uh, there are prokaryotic forms resembling bacteria. In fact, uh, algae, uh, some of these uh, groups, uh, especially the first group, Cyanophyceae, which we are going to see, uh, were uh, uh, determined to be uh, a sub-kingdom of the uh, kingdom Monera, which contains bacteria, according to five kingdom classification. Uh, so they were they are also called cyanobacteria so there are cyanobacterial forms which are prokaryotic which out uh, without a well defined nuclei nucleus and uh, other membrane bound organelles uh, then there are meso mesokaryotic forms uh, in mesokaryotic forms uh, we find a nucleus but there is the, the there is no spindle formation or other characteristics of eukaryotic organisms in eukaryotic organisms uh, there is a definite nucleus well defined nucleus with the double membrane bound organelles uh, so there are different levels of organization of the cell itself uh, with the prokaryotic forms uh, devoid of uh, a well defined nucleus 
uh, the mesokaryotic forms in which uh, the nucleus is present uh, but there are no well defined organelles and spindle fiber formation is absent and eukaryotic forms which with true nuclei and double membrane bound organs which show a higher level of organization and uh, all algae they possess cellulosic cell walls which are characteristic of all plants Uh, as uh, we have seen in the beginning, uh, algae are chlorophyll bearing organisms uh, and chlorophyll are arranged in plastids in uh, eukaryotic forms. Uh, in prokaryotic forms, uh, obviously, we do not find uh, the well defined plastids and uh, these plastids contain uh, all the different types of photosynthetic pigments which we find commonly in plants like chlorophylls A, B, C, D and E, uh, the carotenoid uh, pigments alpha, beta, gamma and epsilon, lycopene, lutein, flavicin, fucosanthin etc. Uh, then uh, there are phycobilins which are found in blue-green algae which are also called biliproteins. Uh, and phycobilins consists of phycocyanin, phycoerythrin and allophycocyanin. Uh, so uh, we find these different pigments, chlorophylls, carotenes, uh, phycobilins or uh, biliproteins uh, arranged in uh, various forms. Uh, all these pigments uh, uh, barring chlorophyll may be or may not be present in different algae uh, and based on these characteristics uh, they are classified a major characteristic that is taken for algal subdivision uh, is the presence of the different types of pigments when we uh, come to the reserve food again we see a large number of diversity like in green algae we find starch but when we come to brown algae it is laminarin and mannitol which is which are the uh, important reserve food materials and uh, we will uh, see these uh, things uh, in detail later. Another characteristic of algae is the presence of simple parenchyma cells. Uh, the plant, entire plant body, because uh, we have mentioned earlier, uh, the plant body is a simple thallus. So there is no specialization of uh, tissues or cells. So we find that uh, parenchyma cells uh, are filling the entire plant body. Throughout the plant body there are parenchyma cells and in larger structures, larger forms we find some form of external differentiation uh, into external structures. So internally all these structures contain only parenchyma but externally we find in larger forms hold fast which is used for attachment uh, stipe which uh, resemble uh, stems or small branches and lamina which are flat leaf uh, like uh, appearing structures. Uh, so even though we find an external differentiation into hold fast stipe and lamina uh, internally they are containing parenchyma. When we come to the flagella, we find commonly that algae which possess flagella has 9 plus 2 arrangement of the flagella. Uh, so we will be seeing the structure of the flagella uh, when we look at algae which possess the flagella. Uh, we find all three types of reproduction that are that is found in nature within algae. There is vegetative, asexual and sexual. Again, we will be looking into uh, the different types of uh, reproduction in different algae and we will be enlightened of the uh, different modes by which reproduction is carried out. And in algae, uh, not all algae possess a definite sporophytic and gametophytic generation. Uh, I think uh, you are aware that sporophyte is the deployed uh, generation, deployed structure and gametophyte is the haploid structure or haploid generation. 
so not all algae possess uh, these two generations distinctly but when they are present they are independent uh, we do not find a sporophyte which is dependent on the gametophyte uh, which then which appears in the subsequent uh, divisions like bryophytes and pterophytes so here uh, if the sporophyte and gametophytic generations are present they they are independent of each other appo ingane poduve nammade algae poduvil veruna chala swabhava savisheshathagal okkeyana nammal kaanunnathu vaividhyam aanu adinte mugamudra heterogeneous ആ വൈവിധ്യത്തെ കുറിച്ചാണ് ഇവിടെ മുഴുവനും നമ്മൾ കണ്ടത് താലസിൻ്റെ വൈവിധ്യം സെല്ലിൽ കാണുന്ന വൈവിധ്യം പിഗ്മെൻറ്റുകളിൽ കാണുന്ന വൈവിധ്യം റിസർവ് ഫുഡിൽ ഉള്ളത് അതുപോലെ റിപ്രൊഡക്ഷനിൽ കാണുന്ന വൈവിധ്യം ജനറേഷൻ ഓൾട്ടർനേഷൻ ഓഫ് ജനറേഷനിൽ കാണിക്കുന്ന വൈവിധ്യം കോമണായി വരുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങളെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് താലസ് ഉണ്ടെന്നുള്ളതാണ് സെല്ലുലോസിക് സെൽവോൾ സെൽവോൾ സെല്ലോസ് അടങ്ങിയൊരു സെൽവോൾ പക്ഷേ നമ്മൾ കാണുന്ന ബ്ലൂ ഗ്രീൻ ആൽഗയിൽ ഈ പറയുന്നത് പോലെ സെല്ലുലോസിക് സെൽവോൾ അല്ല അതിൻ്റെ സെൽവോളൊക്കെ കൂടുതലും ബാക്ടീരിയുമായിട്ട് സാമ്യം കാണിക്കുന്നതാണ് അപ്പോൾ അങ്ങനെ ഉള്ള ജനറൽ ക്യാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ആണ് നമ്മളിവിടെ കണ്ടത് അപ്പോൾ ഇതൊരു ഇൻട്രഡക്ഷൻ ആണ് ഫൈക്കോളജി ഇറ്റ്സ് എൻ ഇൻട്രഡക്ഷൻ ടു ഫൈക്കോളജി Uh, now uh, let us look at the habit and habitat so the appearance so the external appearance is what is used to determine the habit of the uh, plant uh, habit it, uh, is dependent on the size the external structure appearance all these things and we call plants herbs shrubs trees uh, according to their habit Habitat is the dwelling place. Whatever you want to say. The place where an organism lives is its habitat. So based on the habit and the habitat, we find different organizations. We find algae living in uh, water. So they are uh, hydrophytes. Algae which are found in water bodies are hydrophytes. hydrophytes living in aquatic environments uh, there are algae which live in rocks and soil they are the edaphophytes algae which live in rocks and soil are edaphophytes and there are algae which live on trees or the leaves of trees or bark of trees or on the surface of animals uh, in the which are in contact with the atmosphere so they are aerophytes these algae uh, are aerophytes uh, some algae are found growing uh, in cold conditions extreme uh, cold conditions they are called cryophytes uh, some algae are found within animals growing within animals they are the endozoophytes there are algae which are living in association with other organisms like plants and animals so they are the symbionts or endophytes and there are algae which are parasitic depending on another uh, plant for uh, for its uh, uh, food uh, and uh, which does not give anything back to the plant uh, so they are parasites these algae are the Uh, parasites so based on the uh, different uh, types of uh, arrangement uh, or habitat they are uh, classed into uh, hydrophytes edaphophytes aerophytes uh, cryophytes endozoophytes symbionts and parasites these seven groups and uh, again they can be classified or divided into uh, various subgroups based on where they are found uh, hydrophytes may be planktophytes or phytoplanktons found on the surface of water bodies and uh, in some cases they are found 
entirely on the surface of the water body. Their entire life is spent on the surface. So they are euplanktophytes or euplanktons. Uh, some algae uh, begin their life attached to the bottom of the water body and then they uh, g start living on the surface. So they are the tachyplanktophytes or tachyplanktons. Then uh, benthophytes or benthic algae are algae which are submerged, which are found attached to the uh, bot or to the rocks, soil or the bottom of uh, water bodies. There are apactifites which are found on the banks of water bodies like rivers or streams. Some algae are found in hot springs in very uh, extreme temperatures of 70 degrees Celsius. They are called thermophytes. Thermophytes. Uh, algae which are found in high salt concentration. Uh, they are halophytes. So there are several algae which are found in uh, marine conditions which have high salt concentration. Then some are epiphytes in association with other plants. Uh, they live on other plants and make use of uh, the plant as a space host, a place to live on. They are epiphytes. Uh, some algae are epizoophytes living on other animals like turtles uh, or uh, um, uh, in the case of sloth, uh, in, uh, this animal uh, is very slow and uh, so a large number of algae are found on the surface of the uh, sloth, uh, on the fur of the sloth, even the color of the sloth changes to green because of the growth of these algae. Uh, edaphophytes can be saphophytes where the algae grow on the surface of the soil. E soil the Mughal Bhagatana. Uh, cryptophytes where the algae are subterranean. They are uh, uh, below the surface uh, but a portion of the algae may be above the surface. Apangana Maninda Ulinda Ulilite Allah. Cryptophytes, subterranean. Then lithophytes which grow on rocks. Some grow on the surface of rocks. So they are epilithophytes. Some grow within the cracks between rocks. So they are endolithophytes. endolithophytes. Uh, some algae are found growing in sand, so they are samophytes. They are found in sandy soil. Uh, there are aerophytes found growing in uh, contact with the atmosphere. And the ratio might be the algae aerophytes. Some algae which grow on the leaf of uh, trees are epiphyllophytes. Epiphloophytes are algae which are found growing on the bark of trees. Uh, there are epizoophytes which are found growing on the uh, surface of uh, animals. Uh, earlier we have seen epizoophytes here. Uh, these are epizoophytes which are hydrophytes which are uh, and uh, these uh, algae are found on the surface of fish or sub, uh, underwater uh, animals. This is the epizoophytes. Nyan Barna Slothaka, with another, even aerophytes and the griddle with an epizoophytes in the Mugulana, Eparina, algae colored, the Slothaka would have been aerophytes in the griddle with an epizoophytes. Then cryophytes are algae which grow in extreme cold conditions. Namaka Arctic region loca, red snow no or no Pradivasangana bitum. Other covered in the Ilunani, cryophytes are another Nigarna. Uh, cryophytes uh, red color orla chala chlamydomonas chlamydomonas nivalis uh, so uh, large number of these uh, unicellular algae uh, come together to form phenomena which we call red snow then there are endozoophytes uh, algae which live within animals uh, for example in the case of hydra in this uh, uh, animal uh, minute animal algae are found within the uh, organism 
then there are symbionts or endophytes, algae which are in association with other organisms. We know this famous example of lichens, where algae grow in association with fungi and parasites. There are uh, certain algae which cause parasitic uh, diseases. For example, the uh, red rust of tea, the red rust disease, cephalurus norena, algae are the parasite. parasite. Uh, so these are the different type of algae based on the habitant habitat and in the next video we will be produce uh, proceeding towards reproduction uh, thank you everyone for joining me in this video and subscribe to this channel thank you very much